Hi guys, Tati from Manicom here and this time with some big news. New desktop capture mode, new video source, 4K support video and so much more. Come on, let's open the box. It's been a few days Manicom has released the 6.4 version for Windows users. Mac users, don't worry, the update is coming for you too soon, so stay tuned. With this new update, you'll be able to improve the quality of your streams. Also, you'll have plenty of choices in terms of desktop capture mode or sources. Look, we've already talked about this in the previous video, but today I can't wait to try all of them with you. Desktop capture mode has always been one of the most popular video sources when it comes to live video. That's why one of our priorities was to improve the frame per second rate. A better frame rate means that your video will look way smoother. You will also have the option to share with your audience any hidden or minimized folders or files that you have on your computer. This makes it so much easier during a live stream. That's how you can do it. Choose any of the video sources, click on it, then select desktop, app window, then let's say I would like to share with my Manicam folder. I click on my Manicam folder, open my computer just to double check and then share it with you. Next feature is my favorite as on Manicam 6.4, you get a new video source called WebSource and you can find it right here. It allows you to choose web pages as video sources, right? So you just indicate the website you would like to share uh, in, on the first line and the title, you can change that. You can change the page width and the page height as well, and even change the CSS code. It's a great way to show web pages without needing your browser and to customize your live videos. I love it. Each camera has its own specifications and requires different settings. With Manicam, you will be able to control all the camera settings directly from the software by simply right-clicking on the main video source. You'll be able to choose the resolution and then custom and then choose the resolution that you would like to display during your live stream. Doing the same thing, right-clicking and then going to properties, you can play around with the brightness, contrast, oh, and so many more. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Love it. And then just don't forget to click on apply and all of the settings you've selected will be in your live stream. I'll probably cancel it for now. <laughs> Some webcams are coming out with the up to 4K video quality which allows you to stream professional looking videos or conferences. And Manicam is officially supporting the 4K video format. It's actually pretty easy to switch to the 4K resolution. Just go to the video tab and then in the resolution section, just choose the 4K. And this isn't the case if your camera is a 4K one. Another great thing about this update is the automated bitrate setting that you can find in the settings by going to the RTMP and by flicking this one here. So Manicam now detects and automatically sets the video bitrates that are the best for your system and also for your internet speeds. In other words, well, you don't need to go into this more technical side of your broadcast. <sighs> simply because Manicam does it for you. With each update, Manicam is getting better and better, and I love it. 
By the way, if you have an active subscription with the Manicam already, then you can upgrade to the 6.4 at any time and for free. It's pretty easy to do that. So just go on the website on manicam.com, then click on this button. Once you have it installed, then um, just sign in with your details and then enjoy Manicam 6.4. <laughs> To keep up to date with all Manicam's news, then subscribe to our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, follow our blog post. By the way, there is plenty of useful information there. Get Manicam right now with up to 30% off and enjoy all the benefits it has to offer. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.